So uh, we can move on to some more news that came out this this week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, George St. Pierre announced his retirement. Um, good for you, George. Yeah, good for you. Honestly, it's I, been. What's a your long, What's your thought? Well, I I guess I'm I'm glad. Um, I like watching him fight, but he was not going to be an active fighter, which makes it tough. Sure. Um, coming back for these one-off championship fights that I've already said I'm not a fan of. <laughs> yep. yep. I I think that he sounds like he was trying to get a Khabib fight, and I think because of the way he handled his last one-off championship fight, the UFC was not interested in that, so he said, I'm done. I'm not sure if he's really done. Um, yeah. I can't imagine he's going to stop training. No. Uh, so we'll see. I, I don't, I guess, betting odds, I would say he does not fight again, but I would not be surprised if he does. I think he's a, he was a great fighter. I Like I've said, I don't think he was the best fighter ever, but he's certainly one of them sure. on the, the top five for sure. And uh, he meant a lot to uh, MMA in Canada, that's for sure. Yeah. So I, I think he had, I mean, one of the greatest careers there's ever been. And I'm, I guess the, the part of me that'll be glad will be the fact that I don't have to hear about, oh, let's make this fight with yes. ESP all the time. Yeah. Every, every headline or every new idea with a fight. Yeah, yep. I agree. Uh, to me, it makes sense. The guy's going out as healthy as he can be. Um, he's not going to quit training, like we said. He's really into development and training other, you know, younger people up and coming. Just training in general and knowledge. I mean, the, him and Faraz Ahabi, his coach, who I think are maybe one of the best teams out there as far as logistically and logically on how a fight goes. But the guy's had a lot of wars. He doesn't need to take any more damage. He's always going to be a legend. And you know what? To take one or two more huge money fights and maybe possibly tarnish your career, you know, fighting could be fighting Connor. If he happens to lose those, people will go, why'd you come back? No, see, I think it's the exact opposite. I think... You think people would honor him for it? The reason he's taking those fights is because it's house money. They, like, if he's never fought at middleweight before and he comes back and fights the middleweight champion and loses, everyone's going to... That's not everybody's a big gonna deal. Everybody's going to clean up. It's not a big yeah. deal. But if he wins, it's huge. Yeah. Same, it, same thing. He hasn't... I mean, if, if he goes down and fights, fights Khabib, who's no one ever beaten, and he hasn't fought for years, and he, last time he fought was 30 pounds heavier, and he had a cut, yeah. there's nothing for him to lose. He's, he's still going to be George St. Pierre. He's, like, all those fights that happened, they already happened. They're yeah. not going to change. Losing a fight at this point in his career, after coming back, after years off, is not... It's not going to hurt him. It, he, these fights are... And those, I think that's why he's picking these, these one-off fights fights against against weaker champions or yeah. against legends at, at different different weights is because there's not an expectation for him to win. Um, people would def, definitely never count him out, but it's, it wouldn't be a big deal if he lost. And uh, so I I guess that's <laughs> that's how I feel yeah, on, on the way no, he's been fighting I mean, lately. It, I, I get that. I mean, what if you turn it around the other way and they bring original fights he's already fought back to show at a different age and a different weight class? You bring Nick Diaz back. Oh, my gosh. Nick Diaz. I don't want to talk about Nick well, Diaz. Well, I understand that. No, George St. Pierre anymore. I mean, but that was. I don't think Nick Diaz would ever take that fight either at this point. But... What I'm saying is, what would be the impact if he lost a fight like that to Nick Diaz compared to the loss of a fight that he's never had? Do you think it's as bigger, less big, that not even on the card? What do you think? Because that fight's already happened. People know the outcome. No one knows the outcome of that fight. Well, who do you think won? George St. Pierre won. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah? 100% between the touches and strikes overall. Yeah. Nick Diaz made George not look like he win because George isn't used to having someone try to walk him down and finish him or tell him he's a bitch and then take eight of his punches and still walk you down. Yeah. Nick Diaz is a different beast. Look what, what did Nick Diaz say? Look at my face after the Anderson Silva fight. Look at Michael Bisbing's face after the Anderson Silva fight. That's He would fucking murder anybody else under those two they would their face would be butchered yeah nick diaz went through that fight did not get knocked out did not get finished did not fucking absolutely not have a face anymore but he took shots these guys have fought the elite fighters it's in their past it's in their blood nick always said and accused george st pierre of poisoning him kinds of and steroids 
Oh, how unreal nice. iconic would it be to say, fuck it, let's bring Nick back, give Nick six weeks to get in the best shape, clear his system, get all the drugs and alcohol and everything out of his system so he can pass USADA. That is the only fight train. I'd like to see with George St. Pierre and Nick Diaz. I just don't think it's a possibility. It's not a possibility, but yeah. if that fight happened, the iconicness of it blows away him coming back and fighting the champion of a weight class because it's legacy. It is. Uh, I mean, that's... Uh, that's I that's mean, my only point. At least shut up Nick Diaz. He's been talking yes. about that loss. If you're going to sit and talk... Years. If you're going to be talking yeah. seven, eight years up in a hotel smoking weed and fucking posting Snapchats about how you should have been the best. And I love Nick. Trust me. Yep. But... You yeah, gotta show up, fight. and but you have to show up at some point and say, "Let my mouth tell talk, tell me what the walk." That's all it is. He's just got to say, "Well, let's go do it," and either you or me. That's it. Yeah, I don't think uh, GSP has a whole lot to gain from from that fight. No, and I agree I, with that. So I don't think that's one that he would I, be interested. I do. In I even wrote it down on my own notes. I'm like. A Nick Diaz fight four or five years ago maybe made sense. Right now, absolutely not. Yeah. George St. Pierre cannot sacrifice his legacy with fights like that. But yeah. if it happened, it's monumental. But then you go into what you said. If he fought Connor, he fought Khabib. Lose or win, it's a hell of an event for everybody. Yeah, right. So... Congratulations, George St. Pierre. Yeah, um, good for you, George. Don't 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 think we'll CTE, see him. man. Yeah, don't think we'll see him again. But if we do, I'll watch. Absolutely. And the latest breaking news of this week: boom, boom, boom. Interim lightweight uh, championship fight between Max Holloway and Dustin Poirier. Out of nowhere. Has been 